it's Nicole the Math Lady, and today's lesson is on multiplying decimal numbers. Now, do you want the good news first, or do you want the good news first? Let's give you the good news. If you can multiply regular numbers, like regular whole numbers, you can multiply decimal numbers. There's just one or two maybe things that you need to keep in mind when multiplying decimal numbers. Let's take a look. Let's say I had the number 12, and I wanted to multiply it times the decimal 3 hundredths, 0 0.03. So step one is, let's just do our math the way we do our math. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3. And we don't have to do the 0 because we know it's all going to be 0. So we have the answer 36. Well, the thing we need to do at this point that's a little different than regular multiplication is we need to account for this decimal. We have a decimal that is two, has two spaces, right? One, two. Two spaces. So we need to account for those two decimal spaces in our answer. So we know this decimal, usually imaginary decimal, is here, and then we move it two spaces. One, two. There's our decimal point, and we know we always put a zero in front of it. That's it. You multiply and account for your decimals. Let's take a look at another example. Here we have 0.36 times 0.14. Well, remember the rule. Do your multiplication like normal. 6 times 4 is 24. Carry the 2. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. We can carry the 1, but we know 4 times 0 is 0, so we add our 1, and it's just another 1. Now here we have 36 times 1. Let's just make sure we line it up. We know it's going to be 36. And we're going to add everything together. 4, 0, 504. But are we done? No, we haven't accounted for our decimals yet. So let's count up the number of decimals. Now remember, we're counting, looking for the total number of decimals. We have one, two spaces there, and one, two spaces there. So we have four decimal places we have to account for. Let's take a look. My number only has three spaces, so I need to put in four decimal spaces. Well, here we go. One, two, three. I'll put a zero here, and now I can put my decimal space down, and I have my four decimal spaces. One, two, three, four. That's it. That's the rule. Multiply like regular. Account for your decimals. All right, one more problem. You might notice that I have a square. I have 2.4 squared on the board. Well, Nicole, I thought you were giving me a multiplication problem. Ah, but I did, right? Isn't a square the same thing as saying 2.4 times 2.4? Now you remember. Okay, so here we go. 2.4 times 2.4. Nice big decimal points. The rule is, do your multiplication like regular. Here we go. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 is 9. 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. Let's add it up. Okay, we have a number, 576. How many decimal places do we have to account for? 1, 2. Let's put them in. 1, 2. Our answer is 5.76. And that's it. Multiplying decimals. I know I say everything's easy, but it is, isn't it? It really is. Just make sure you account for those decimal places and you're golden. All right. I'll talk to you later. That's it for today. Bye.